on the right, 11 and 3 with Grixis. Sleds are going to he's going to have to have some good tiebreakers to be able to make it in with a third loss, but it's not impossible here as we are underway in round number 15. For Richie Sleds, he started things off with a Scalding Tarn. For Kazu Negri, he started things off with a Verdant Catacombs. Players that look to be into the top eight here. Dan Musser, Michael Majors, John Sauer, and hey, Nicholas Bird mm -hmm. with that very passionate about uh, ad nauseum. And he gave a real beat down to Andrew Main last round. Jeez. Oh, and if you want to give a little love to control decks, you know how you can go about doing that? How's that? Getting rid of Bobble, Street Wraith, Simeon <laughs> yeah. Spear Guide, and Mox Opal. Sure. That, that give also them work. a little breathing space yeah. to get to four mana and be able to cast Cryptic Command or whatever. Yeah, that'll also work just fine. Sleds is going to play a Thought Scour. Serum Visions and Lightning Bolt go to the graveyard. And he's drawn a card. And now he'll sacrifice the Polluted Delta. We could see a Tasker as early as turn number two here. Basic Swamp. He's tapping a Swamp. What do we got? Discard Spell or Tasker? Well, there, that's, that's, that's that. That's fast. Yeah. And he's left the blue mana at the ready. So he could have just played it for two and left a card in his graveyard. So I'm curious if maybe he has a Spell Snare or a Lightning Bolt. And it looks like Richie Sleds does have a Lightning Bolt in hand that he may want to cast. And I don't know, does Negri have any main deck Path to Exiles or any removal spells for this Tasker? It does not. I mean, it's Court of Calling and Collective Company. It's possible that there is a... This necklace is quite faint. There's a fiend hunter, but that's a, a hard way to do it. Yeah, it's not, not the best way to go about doing business. There's a copy of Scavenging Ooze. And it's been lightning bolted, so Sleds will now untap and draw. Yeah, you. it's really rough when you get on the back foot against Grixis like this. Especially you have, when you're being attacked by you, Tasker. You don't have any any ability to bob and weave and try to resolve spells in a certain order. You're, you're facing a, a five-turn clock here, and you just kind of have to... To cast stuff, you don't have a lot of ability to maneuver here. It's very challenging. It's a Birds of Paradise and a passing of the turn. Sleds will sacrifice Blue to Delta. <coughs> See what land Richie wants to search up. See some media copies of Ancestral Vision here. Went by a Cryptic Command. And just as an example, I don't know. What if he just went fourth land Jace this game? That's, yeah, we're done. That's, that's, <laughs> well, that's that. <laughs> we're, all, we're all set, thanks. Here's a Misty Rainforest. Here's an attack. Untap Clutch Company. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Totally fine. Gavney Township might be the land here for Kazu this turn. There is the Township. And there's another Bird's Paradise. We're going to do a lot better than that. We're going to try to win this game. Misty Rainforest will be sacrificed. I mean, this is an opportunity here for Negri to uh, potentially resolve this Collective Company without having to worry about Cryptic Command. Okay. Now, he could just allow Sleds to resolve the fetch land because the most likely scenario here is Sleds wants to activate the Tassiker. Mm -hmm. But the concern here, if you let Sleds sack the fetch land and he just goes, okay, untap, now you're in Cryptic Command territory. Ah, Counter Squall. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that'll that'll Ooh. do. That'll take care of that Collective Company just fine. Now Sleds will search up his land from his fetch land activation. Knocks, knocks Negri down to 8 too, so now Tassiker is a two turn clock. Might be doing a little blocking with that bird. You know, ideally you get into spots where you resolve, try to resolve two spells in one turn or try to, to bait something to get your critical card to resolve. But when you're just getting beat up by Tassiker starting on turn three, um, you have a lot less wiggle room here. I think if I was in Negri's spot, I would have allowed Sleds to get the land and activate the Tassiker. Sure. Because I just think it's hard to turn that down. Burns Paradise is jumping in front. Creeping tar pit the land post combat there for Richie Sleds. And Kazu does have a copy of Quarter Calling in hand.
There's Township, just going to pass the turn back. Sleds does not look like he's going to activate Tassiger. So disciplined. Maybe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to pass up on the value. Here's three mana. It looks like he might be going towards Colagon's command. All right. We'll see what the modes are on this. I would guess shock the bird and you discard a card. That's going to be two damage to Kazu discard a card. Okay. All right. Now here is quarter calling. I'm thinking Fiend Hunter. Kitchen Finks. Okay. Well, that's Kitchen Finks plus Gavity Township. So that's, that's a lot of blocking. If he gets to get to that. Yep. Sleds will draw. Picked up a mountain to go along with the steam vents and a fatal push. Fire up the tar pit. Beat downs. Quick block. Persist back. Overall, Kazu will take one. It's going to fall down to seven. Gets a counter. Now he'll draw a card for the turn. Didn't get a great look. I think it actually was a collected company. It's a step in the right direction. Now, of course, what Kazu wants to set up is say, activate Gavney Township, put a counter on my Kitchen Finks to remove the minus one, minus one counter. Block, repeat. Yeah, rinse, repeat this for a little while. But instead, I like this, because this forces Sleds to have a Dispel, which would be kind of a weird main deck card. So now it's okay. I'm gonna go for it here with Collective Company and see what I can find. Yeah, I mean this this play is uh, there is some risk associated here if Negri kind of bricks because the Kitchen Things plus Gavity Township puts him in a fine holding pattern. But this is a good window to resolve this. And at a certain point, he's got to try to pull ahead a little bit here. Eternal Witness is gonna target something in the graveyard. The question is what. And hopefully your collected company yields a chump blocker. So then, then if, if you do feel like you need to chump block the Tassiker, you don't have to do it with the Finks. You can keep that around and then go back to using Gavany Township alongside the Finks to start pulling your life total back up. Looks like it'll be Court of Calling that Kazu gets back. Lightning Bolt to go along with Fatal Push and a Mountain now. Curious to see if that tar pit's going to get fired up again for Richie Sleds. There's the mountain. I mean, alternatively, he can try to go to activating Tassiger. I mean, his graveyard's pretty juicy for that. But if you attack last turn, I like just keep going, uh, especially since the bolt makes that, uh, I think, more attractive. Yeah, the tar pit. Yep. And I like doing nothing here with the Tassiger. Hold that, hang back on defense, and don't engage in combat with that Kitchen Finks if you can avoid it. Because you can just, in an ideal world, attack with your Creeping Tar Pit next turn and bolt him out. This looks like it's going to be a quarter calling just for one. So I imagine he's getting a Viscera Seer here. Mm -hmm. And then he can put use the Township and sacrifice the Finks and start improving his draw step that way. Maybe try to combo out. If I'm Sleds here, I am using the... Uh, I'm using the Fatal Push in his hand right now on the Viscera Seer. I don't like letting him untap here. Well, he's going to get to untap. So I guess the hope here if you're Sleds is that Negri will go ahead and use, you know, use the Gavney Township on the Finks and sacrifice the Finks. That puts him up to six, and you have Bolt plus Creeping Tar Pit. So... Sled's line here may be, I can get Negri to use up his whole turn, and I still have a kill on the way back. Top card went to the bottom, I believe. Because Negri sacrificed an eternal witness to the Viscerous here. Creeping Tar Pit, you pay a cost by playing it. And there's a Battlefield Tap, all that good stuff. But hey, it is a way to win. Now, Renegade, ooh. That is interesting. 
Renegade Rallyer being the draw is very interesting. To reiterate, I do not like letting Negri go to his turn <laughs> uh -huh. with the Viscerous here. Yeah. What can he get back? Now, I agree with you overall about not letting him go to his turn. I think it's going to be scavenging news, yeah. And, and you know, <laughs> it's funny. The, the main reason I don't like him going to his turn with Viscerous here is, look, he could have courted for two. Yep. He could have untapped and courted for three or four. Right, it's just he a... He really wanted to go get Viscerous here. It's just a thing, yeah. And he, he's announcing that he really wants it, and there's just so many lines of play that he has access to. A lot of draw steps have become substantially more threatening once that Viscerous here is in play. Now, I don't think there are any good and, attacks here. And but. your hand might get forced anyway if he combos out. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to get forced on it at a good percentage of time anyway... That was quite the push. Push the card back. All the way back. Now I'm curious to see if Cosby's just going to let this die. Because if he does, he's just going to die now. Yeah, I think Negri has selected the line where, he's, where his plan here is just a township the Finks, mm -hmm. and go to six, and the Creeping Tar Pit plus the Bolt should cover it. Yep. All his creatures will get plus one, plus one, of course, but... Celeste is going to pretty quickly untap here with good reason. Yep, I'm at three. But a one can go up to three. Yeah, I'm at one, I can go... Yeah, here's a Lightning Bolt. Yeah, and that's going to take care of that, so... Richie Sleds is going to win game number one here over Kazu Negri. Grixis Control didn't be too controlling that go around. It was actually pretty aggressive up a game here at Rob's on company. Yeah, turn two, Tassiger put Negri on the back foot for a while, and it looked like Negri was on the, the precipice of stabilizing the game, getting it turned around, but just took too many shots early on in the game and could not stabilize against the Creeping Tar Pit and the Lightning Bolt. Let's take a look at the sideboards here. We're going to start with Kazu, who's got three Path to Exile, two Distended Mindbender, and a lot of one of. so stay with me. Burrington Forge Center, Kotaki Wars Wage. Eidolon of Rhetoric, Gideon Ally of Zendikar, Kasali Pride Mate, Sin Collector, Sagarda Host of Herons, Maelstrom Pulse, Lifecraft's Beastery, and a Tireless Tracker. Uh, a lot of cards to settle in for a, a more extended game here. Things like Tireless Tracker, Lifecrafter as a Beastery, the Sin Collector, the Gideon Ally of Zendikar, uh, I think all do really good work here. I, I like the Burton Forge Tender as a bullet to cord for. Um, I think the Descended Mindbender is probably solid in this matchup. More of an anti-combo measure, but I think it could be okay here. I don't know if he wants to path to exile. His deck doesn't seem particularly worried about Tassiker, uh, but it's possible between that and Creeping Tarpit, he wants a little bit of removal. Other side of things here for Richie Sledge. Three Fulminator remains, two Surgical Extraction, two Negate, two Dispel. Here come the one of yet again. Collective Brutality, Kalidus Trader of Get, which is very good in this matchup. You see an Engineer Explosives, an Anger of Gods, a Damnation, and an Is It Static Caster. Some, some really solid measures here you can take with the Damnation, Anger of Gods, Is It Static Caster, Engineer Explosives, Kalidus, Collective Brutality, all some mixture of removal, sweepers, ways to attack the hand. And I think the two copies of Dispel could be solid in this matchup too. Don't want to negate, it's a little bit on the expensive side, but Dispel just so good against the marquee cards of the deck. Those are the options there for both players, and game number two is going to be underway here in just a moment. But while these players do shuffle up and get ready here for game number two, let's talk invitational qualifiers here at StarCityGames.com. Go to StarCityGames.com slash IQ is where you can get all your information. But keep in mind all the exclusive prizes that we do have for our IQs that are being run most weekends of the year. $1,000 to the top eight competitors, invitational qualification. So if you're looking to qualify for that season one invitational in Roanoke, Virginia, this is the best way to go about doing it. You got SAG points, top eight play mats, top eight pins, and mm -hmm. registration tokens mm -hmm. like that Jacob Ball energy token. Again, go to starcitygames.com slash IQ for more information. Organizers, you want to run it, you can get in touch with our organized play program. Players, if you want to play in them, that's the place to go as they get ready here for game number two between Kazu Negri and Richie Sleds, Obzon Company, and Quixus Control. Two decks that we've seen a decent amount of here this weekend, but as we have seen as we've made our way through 14 rounds and almost through round number 15, it's Death Shadow and Bantel Draws. Those are the decks to beat here this weekend. Yeah, I would imagine multiple copies of, of Death Shadow, possibly multiple copies of Bantel Draws as well. I'm liking Bantel Drazi, man. Now, you know, I don't, I don't have a modern tournament to play in for a little while. I like, I like to play in some modern leagues mm -hmm. to kill some <laughs> to kill mm -hmm. some time. I know. Uh, <laughs> I might fire up the Bantel Drazi deck now. Revolt Zoo's been fun, but I'm ready to move on. I'm kind of liking Bantel Drazi. Maybe I should just take some time and learn Death Shadow because a lot of good stuff going on there, too. And a, a pretty tricky deck to play. True. True. 
but I'm getting ready for a little standard action now soon, too. I guess there's a lot of stuff to get ready for. There's Grand Prix New Jersey that's going to be a little standard action, and then Grand Prix Orlando, hosted by Star City Games, limited. Mm -hmm. Going to get in those sealed leagues. Might run into big Dan Teague. Yep. Trying to fade that, actually. I don't want a repeat performance of the Ajani. <laughs> so, we beat me with some other stupid card. Stakes are a little bit lower in the league. That's not true. You're going to be, if you win, you're just going to give me so much guff that it seems like the same. It just seems like the same, man. Yeah. It's not about the win. It's not about, it's about the trash talk, yeah. which I, have, I don't have any way to, to beat you right now. Like, I beat you at Nationals once. Yeah, way back in the day. That was a long time ago. Yep. Lower but, stakes. But <laughs> most recently. Because I think it was the 0-2 bracket. We were 1-1-1. One, 1-1? One, one. One, one. <laughs> we were 1-1-1. One, one, Whatever. It was not. Uh, it was not a feature match. Put it that way. I remember because I remember. <laughs> I remember because I drew the first round of the tournament. I can't believe I got a draw. I must have been one and two. I had to believe that I that. Uh, it, so I know. I know for sure through the first round, the first four rounds of that nationals, I was two one and one through the first four construction yeah. rounds. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean the the pairings and standings are up there somewhere, but yeah. my number of unintentional draws in sanctioned magic is like, it's real low. It's a real low I number. I you were playing Rakdos. Yeah, I was playing Rakdos. That tech stunk. It wasn't particularly good, no. And oh. I, I, I had a black splash green for Tarmogoyf Augur of Skulls deck that was dismissed by testing teammates Antonio Tarosa and Ben Rubin as not being very good, and then that deck just pounded me in round one. <laughs> <laughs> were you, were you, uh, were you dark confident greater Garganoning? Almost certainly. Yeah, and hit run. Yeah, just all of it. I'll okay. take it all. Yep, good. Just lot, combos within combos within yeah. combos. I was playing Dark Confidant Draco, Draco at that tournament. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to round seven of Looks like Kazu's on six. He's kept on top. Green light means go. Here we are. Sleds with an ancestral vision. Now that's not wishful thinking in this matchup. I think he'll get to resolve that. Last time we saw Richie Sleds put a Ancestral Vision on Suspend, he died before he got to resolve it. Story is it's his old as time. time. It's his old as <laughs> time. <laughs> One counter to go. Mm, almost. Picking up all of his cards and his six-sided die on one. <laughs> <laughs> put him into his backpack and going to play another yeah. round. <laughs> Temple Garden here for Kazu as he falls down to 19. It's a Plains and... It's an offense, a kin tree spirit. Sleds is going to bring the visions down to three. Quarter of the way there. This is a serum visions. He'll draw a card. Now it's time to scry two. During our conversations about banning and unbanning at the top of the round, someone asked uh, on Twitter about if we can't unban Jace, can we unban Preordain? No. No, that will also get you killed faster. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you cannot. Lightning Bolt will take care of You know who's using Preordain? Caleb's going to use yeah. Preordain. <laughs> yeah. He's going to kill you with that. Yeah, yeah. We're not unbanning <laughs> that. Yeah. Here's Safi, Eric's daughter. A new route to combo out. Mm-hmm. Renegade Rallyer. For those unfamiliar, we take a little look at the old S-A-F-F-I, Safi. I remember playing with this a little but mostly playing against this in the Project X deck that could combo off many years ago and gain infinite life. You can sacrifice Safi Eric's daughter when target creature is put into your graveyard from play this turn. Return that card to play. Ancestral Visions number two. We are really cooking now. We are cooking. Kazu looking to play a Rift Sweeper. <laughs> Dome it. I, I would be so happy if he had one. Yeah. Living Wish for Rift Sweeper. Thanks. Do you have any applications in this format? Probably not. I mean, there are some suspend cards. Yeah. Can you imagine getting a Rift Bolt Rift Sweeper? Yeah. You, you lose immediately. It's a good flavor story, at least. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a collected company. Yeah, your Rift Bolt was swept away by the Rift Sweeper. <laughs> so that's the job. That's its job. <laughs> Top six. How do we do? I think it's slow to resolve, so maybe not that great. That's one. That's two. Renegade Rallyer. Oh, no. Nothing to... Ah, uh, no revolt. I don't think. I thought he cracked a fetch land this turn. I don't think so. I think he played a rising canopy. All right, I'm wrong. Yeah, he had a fetch and play. All right. Wow, look at this combo upon combos. Safi Eric's daughter. 
get that back. Vision's down to one now. Will it resolve? Unclear. Here's a creeping tar pit. This is a Kolagon's command. Going to target Safi and make him discard, looks like. Yep. And Sled's just wearing Negri out. That's the plan. Negri will discard a Horizon Canopy. And you can see last leftovers there with that Ancestral on one is Damnation. If you get out of this turn, if you're Sled's and you don't get killed this turn, you got to feel really good about your spot. Yeah, I would think so. Especially if Kazu does something like play Collected Company right now, which he's doing to avoid counter magic, Damnation will clean it all up. Yep. Now there's some hits. I think that Negri has a, a. That's that's Infinite Life. Sin Collector. Now, can this deck beat Infinite Life? That's, is now the question. That's Infinite Life. Nope. 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 Okay. Nope. Had to feel good. And Rich Sleds don't remember to pick up that die on one. <laughs> What are you doing thinking you're going to solve Ancestral Visions? <laughs> not, in this, not in this tournament. Yeah. That's yeah. very reminiscent of the zoo match we watched with him. If he gets to untap, he gets to, class, he gets to cast Damnation. He gets to draw three cards. Yo, my man, pick up your dice. You left those on the table, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Tough card to resolve. <laughs> Tough Dam card. Damnation in hand, about to draw three cards. <laughs> Gotta feel good. Got to feel good. Boy, that's tough. I don't know how many. I, I couldn't go. I couldn't go like this. Just still, just keep dying with Ancestral Visions on one. Yeah. I just couldn't. I wouldn't be able to take it. That hat would be across the room. Boy, he's even shaking his head a little bit. He just wants to draw three extra cards, people. That's all he wants to do. I'd say bringing the Damnation is already in the deck. Cletus, you know, is probably already in the deck, too. Gotta be. Yeah. Engineer Explosives, good. Anger of the Gods, good. It's all good. Got a great sideboard. Just got to get to it. Ancestral, a lot of removal spells. Kept the battlefield mostly clean along the way. It looked like he was forcing Negri to lean into that damnation right before he was about to draw three cards. It's a look of disappointment right there. It's a tough one. That's, That's a tough, tough one. Two times on camera, two times <laughs> he's died with Ancestral Visions and on one. And with damnation, you got to feel good. Yeah. You got to feel, feel good. good. You got to feel good. Can't regenerate nothing. <laughs> nothing. Those things are dead. Yep. Except he died first. Uh, Suds will be on the play. You know where one place you can resolve Ancestral Vision? Commander. Most likely. I'm pretty sure you can resolve it. You're going to play more <laughs> than four turns in Commander. And what better segue to our Commander versus Playmats than that? Green, gold, blue, red. Jonathan Suarez, Justin Parnell, Jeremy Knoll, and the mean green. American Dream. Stephen Green. <laughs> <laughs> Order today. Go to StarCityGames.com slash Commander 2016. We got the Commander 2016 edition decks and sets of five, and of course those Commander versus Playmats as well. The American Dream, mean Stephen Green. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. If not Jace or Preordain, how about Stoneforge? No. Yeah, we we know how that story goes. No, we know we know. If you want to do these things, just go play Legacy, man. Yeah. Just go play Legacy. There's there's a sandbox for you to be able to play with those cards. Right. Go sell your Hall of Fountains. Go grab some some Tundras or yeah. whatever, and you can do this to other people. It's fine. Blue base control decks, they don't really need help. They don't always have to exist. They all, they're also, like, fine. I don't know. They're fine. People show up, people show up with, with Grixis and Jeskai decks. We played in the, in the Baltimore tournament two or three times we played against that. It's not, it's not a zero. You got an Ancestral Vision not that long ago. That's a sop to you people. They <laughs> unbanned that card. Well, it doesn't ever resolve, but they did unban it. Right. They did unban but it. But he got me. to suspend it, at least. You know, That's he had... Yeah. He had there was a moment where it looked like it could happen. Yeah. A lot of wishful thinking. You know what would have saved Richie there? Mm. Jace. Jace would have been good. Yeah. Jace. Which is why it's not what's why it's not unbanned. Yeah. Here's a Temple Garden from Kazu. Pass the turn back. Thought Scour won. Visions where it belongs. Steam vents and a new card. Just fade that draw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he drew one. Oh no. Oh no, not again. This'll be fun. This will be fun. It's on four. Oh no. Creeping tar pit passes turn back. Kazu's smiling because he knows he's going to win before that comes off suspend. Yep. Or or he will lose to other things. <laughs> <laughs> the determining factor will not be Ancestral Vision. Down to three. Three turns left before this match is over.
Sluts has the damnation again, too. This is, yeah. a, re this is a repeat. Yeah. This, type of, this is the type of sequence that would make me question the nature of reality. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is really happening the same way again? Yes. Yes, it is. But he has nothing on the table. Yeah, yeah this Surely I won't die before this ancestral vision comes out. This time Kazu's, Kazu is very slow That's to the board. That's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> How could that happen? Here's a blood grip for Richie. And yet. It all starts with the kitchen things. Serum visions. Scry one. And two. Cryptic command among those cards. The cryptic command and lightning bolt. How do I die before this ancestral <laughs> comes off? Yeah, I think he's going to leave them both on top, and I would, too. <laughs> yeah, Cryptic Command and Lightning Bolt. Surely, <laughs> surely I won't die with those cards <laughs> on top of my library. That seems hard to believe. And a, and a Tassiker? Okay. He has it all. Kasu going to sacrifice the Vern Catacombs. Fall down to 19 and get an Overgrown Tomb. It starts with Kitchen Finks. Oh, yeah. That's where it starts. Oh. Well, that's a blocker. That's a little bit of time. But that's fairly innocent. Not a big deal. Kazu, it's time to play a spell. Just going to put that out there. Yeah, I would not want to say go here. You got you to gotta do something, man. All right, that's a spell. Here we go. All right, oh, get, get those lands in the back. Whatever. It's get those lands in the back. Good. There we go. Vision's down to two. Drew a cryptic man. Best card I've ever seen. Sulfur vents untapped. Triple blue. I don't know how he's going to die out without vision on one. I can't wait to see how. Finks in. A lot of cards here for Kazu, one of which is Collected Company, unsurprisingly. Sled, sled's feeling pretty good yeah. right now. And, and I, got, I have to. Got, got a lot of reason to feel good about where things are at right now. Negri's going to pass the turn back. Vision's down to Does one. Does not activate the Tassiker. Well aware of Collected very, Company. Very smart. What's great about this is I think he can counter the one collected company, but if there's two in the hand, there'll be a window here for Negri. That's true. <laughs> Here's an attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Kazu's going to sacrifice the windswept teeth. I can't believe it could happen again. It's like unbelievable. It's got ancestral on one and damnation in the hand. Again, again, it could happen again. If Negri has two copies of Collecting Company or just like the right cards rolled up. Yep. It's totally in play. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Feeling pretty good. Counter, feeling pretty Counter feeling draw. draw. Counter draw. No, counter, counter bounce. Counter bounce the Finks. He's faded it. Okay. I believe he has faded. I think Ancestral Visions is going to resolve now. Well, you just need to cast Visor Seer and Collecting Company in the kill. That would be game. It's an exciting time to be alive. It is. That was a sharp play by Sledge. That's actually, he I knows, think Sledge has actually played pretty yeah, good. I think he's played this very well. He knows he, he's not, the concern is not, you know, do I need to squeeze every card out of here because the vision's about to come out. It's just, do I, you know, break up as much interaction or as many combo elements as possible in the moments where my shields are down? Tireless. Very sharp play. Yep. I think a lot of people would have just drawn the card there. Tireless Tracker is here. Sled's not really that concerned about that. It is some card advantage here, as Negger can make two clues. But Sled's has the bolt in hand, and the vision is about to come out. Mm -hmm. So I think, even though it looks pretty good, and it's a grindy matchup, I think on the balance, Sled's is probably pretty happy with Tireless Tracker being Negri's turn. Standard's best card drawing engine is lost in a modern tournament. Just making some clues, hanging out. Yep, briefly. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's here to stay. Basic Forest here for Kazu. You gotta remember, this was the recipe for sleds in game one. Early yep. Tassiger, and then just kind of defend it. Yep. Oh my gosh, it happened. 
Congratulations. Dun, 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 dun. Into a cryptic. Two. Three. Another a cryptic, an engineer explosives, and another vision. Yeah. So many people at home have got to be happy. You chase the mind sculptor people. <laughs> You've got to be just loving this. Bolt that. Thanks. Suspend ancestral vision. Cryptic command still up. Yep. This is all. This is all of it right here. This is everything. The whole thing. <laughs> yeah, this is anyone's ever dreamed of. It's right. All here. It's all happening. Cr your opponent's cracking a clue. You don't care. Don't care. Kazu will draw. Viscerous here. Cryptic command. Cryptic command. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Yep. He got. To, he got to draw the three cards. Yep. I'd be happy too. Kitchen Finks, nah, dog. Counter draw That's card. That's counter draw card. Swamp. Sled's over there doing the two for one dance. Yep. It's just <laughs> another Finks. <laughs> Kazu gonna gain a little bit of life. He's up to nine. Sled's with damnation explosives. Vision's down to three. He'll draw a card. Creeping tar pit, maybe ready to go on the offensive. Who knows? Dude, snap Snapcaster mage. mage. Cryptic command. Snapcaster <laughs> mage. Cryptic command. <laughs> He was looking maybe a little rough there for a second. Didn't for have a moment. Good, didn't, for have, a moment. didn't have a counterspell. Didn't have a, a clean answer to the Finks. Yep. Maybe looking a little bad. Not looking bad anymore. Snapcaster Mage. Grixis deck looks pretty good sometimes. Maybe I'll Snapcaster my bolt and just kill you that way. Whatever. A lot of angles. A lot of angles. A lot of ins. A lot of outs. I think I want to block. Yeah. yeah. That, this feels like a place where you can get double bolted out. Or yeah. 11 now for Kazu. Water Grave enters the battlefield tapped. Snapcaster Cryptic. He's chopping at the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Gaffney Township the draw. Don't forget about that clue out there. I don't draw you a card. How's Kazu want to work his way through this? That's the question. Looks like he's going to start with scavenging news, which I like a lot. Well, this is probably enough to induce the Snapcaster Cryptic because you're going to lose access to it if the scavenging news resolves. Mm -hmm. Here is Snapcaster Mage. Cryptos. Counter, 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 counter drop. <laughs> oh, counter bounce Snapcaster. That's pretty adorable. That is pretty adorable. Even better with the other cryptic. Yep. Got another cryptic. Okay. All right. We Draw a card with that one. We need to get you a Grixis control deck stat. Kasu's got a... Attention, magic players in the he's got Gavin Township. His turn could just be Your to pivot into just use the Finks plus the Township to block. But that's hard to do because Sles can just do other things with his mana, including activating Creeping Tar Pit. Mm-hmm. He's also got a Witness, too. I think he might go witness. Yep. Does he want to get back? Company. Okay. Viscerous here. Okay. Play a land. Oh, ooh, yeah. Get oh, him. Yeah, get him. In for two. Land, Temple Garden, pass the turn back. All right. We got a game here, folks. We got this, a game here. This might be enough for Sleds here to pull the trigger on Damnation. I think we might have gotten to that point. Okay. Uh, now, it, maybe he wants to wait out the collected company if he doesn't have an answer to it. Picked up a copy of Terminate. He could Terminate twice with Snapcaster Mage. But he might want to just kind of sit back here on his Snapcaster Mage plus Cryptic Command because he knows about Collected Company. And until he has an answer to that, he, he has to hang tight a little bit. He's also said it pretty well now, too, because by playing that land, he can play Terminate and let me make sure he's got enough mana for this. Wait, he organizes yeah, mana. Yeah, he's got eight. He's got eight. So he can snap Caster Mage, the Cryptic Command, and still play Terminate, and I think that's what he's going to do. So Terminate the Kitchen Fangs. Sacrifice that to Viscerous here. We'll get to see Kazu Scry. Top card has now become the bottom card. Tassiger in. This would knock him down to eight. Excuse me, seven if he took it.
I'm a little scared to take it. I'm also scared to chump. Yeah, because it's just sort of it's tough without a good answer to creeping tar pit. You may just be compelled to block here. But it's hard. You need to kind of get the battlefield built up a little bit, too, to leverage Gavinia Township and to give yourself eno enough ways to combo out to get some synergies going. Kazu's untapping. Kazu's drawing. I think he picked up another witness. It's pretty good. kind of force a little action here. That card witness is good enough that Richie has to do something about it. Uh, I think. Alternatively, if Negri holds up the four mana, then you just let that be his whole turn. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I think it's pretty risky to counter here. I mean, I know the eternal witness is super good in the spot too, but you are just tapping out and allowing him to collect a company otherwise. Yep. He can't do it because it, he can't Collecting company right now because he knows about your Snapcaster plus Cryptic. Kitchen Finks is going to be returned. And I like getting back the three mana spell because let's say Negri passes and Sleds doesn't give him any help by allowing him to uh, Cryptic the Collected Company. Next turn you untap and you just cast the Finks again if you want to. Township? I don't want to. I do not want to cast that Finks. Yeah, I love. Yeah, yeah. I just love no time. cash. Yep. Just we're staying and steady. If Sleds lets you uh, resolve the collective company, great, do it. And if not, just go to Gavney Township. Mm -hmm. It's a really good position here. I like the way Negri's playing this. Tough squeeze. He's trying to thread a variety of needles right now, but I think he's worked himself into a pretty good situation given the circumstances. And it's a pretty big commitment here for Sleds to have to hold up six. He has a whole up Snapcaster plus Cryptic Command. In the meantime, there's not a whole lot else he can do. You see what that Visions is on? One. Again. Tassiger in. Yep. Eternal Witness will sacri be sacrificed to Viscera Seer. Scry top card to the bottom. Sleds has an EE for one. Snapcaster Mage Damnation in hand. And he, he gets to interact with the Viscerous here if he wants to. And still has the six mana left over to Snapcaster back the Cryptic. Kazu's going to sack a clue, draw a card. Horizon Canopy is what he's found. So he's still not willing to pull the trigger yet. Can't do it in a six mana. Yep. Malira. Yeah, but I don't want that second Visions to go off either. Maybe there's not a lot he can do about that, though. Well, yeah, there, it's very hard for him to win the game this turn through the Cryptic Command. Yeah, all that stuff. So it stings to let him draw three, but you just got to play through. Okay, Finks. And this is obnoxious, too, because he got the Gavney Township. If you counter this, then he has an opportunity to resolve Collective Company. If you don't counter it, you're sort of in this weird holding pattern. Yeah, this 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 card's annoying enough that you do want to counter it, I think. Here's Snapcaster Mage. Now here's the window. Now this might be this might be counter Fink's bounce Snapcaster again. Yeah, I think he pointed at the Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, we'll right? confirm the modes. Yeah, he wants to run back what he did a couple turns ago. Counter yep. Fink's bounce Snapcaster Mage. Be able to use Snapcaster Mage a little bit later over the course of the game because he's got some good stuff in his graveyard. And I think we're gonna see Cosme make his move right now. That's yeah, a good window to go for it. Mm-hmm. This is collected company. I like Collected Company in response here because he could potentially find a Fiend Hunter and cut off the Snapcaster Mage being able to be bounced. Yep. Top card to the bottom there from the Viscerous here. Explosives resolve, now Company resolves. We could see Infinite Life right now. Keep in mind, I do not believe Kazu's played his land yet this turn, assuming he has a land in his hand. Renegade Rally or Viscerous here. Uh, there is a revolt trigger. 
Does he have a land to get back? Well, hold on. Hmm. Cryptic Command's targeting what? Finks, right? The Finks. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay. Get back scavenging news. That's dead. Snapcaster's back there. That's a horizon canopy. Witness looks to be clear for takeoff. And now, with Sleds having gotten the Collector Company out of the way, it would not surprise me if his turn went in such a way where he pulled the trigger on the damnation. Yeah, me either. I, I, I think we're about to that point. Because you still have the Creeping Tar Pit. You have whatever you're drawing off the Ancestral Vision. You have a Snapcaster Mage versus a Horizon Canopy and a card. You've done a pretty decent job of running Kazu out of cards. Yep. And you've got three more coming with the Visions. Right. So you can kind of do a little bit of a reset here. Here comes Witness. Yeah, the cryptic in his graveyard needs to be exiled. That's important to note. Yep. Snapcaster, Terminate. So those are the three cards. And now he'll draw a card for the turn. Looks like he picked up a, two copies of Polluted Delta. This to me feels like an attack with Tassiger. Maybe you get four points for your trouble, and then you damnation. Okay. How many tar pits do you have? Just one? I believe just the one. Two in the deck list. Okay. Got a lot of good cards in this hand right now. I'm going to start by playing a Delta. Damnation. Okay. Maybe some scries available here, and then there could be a scavenging ooze activation as well here for Kazu if he'd like. Could also activate the horizon canopy, so he's got some options here. Let's see what's in the graveyard. Light lightning bolt is of the most interest to me. With scavenging ooze? Because, because of life totals? Yeah. And I suppose terminate would be the other. Mm-hmm. You, of course, don't care about visions, and I think that I don't, you don't care about Magic ancestral visions. Serum so visions kind of meh to me. So it looks like Negri is instead deciding not to exile Magic another card. Hunter, I think the tapping the Horizon Canopy and, Canopy and going from seven to six, facing down Creeping Tar Pit and Bolts, that, that one point of damage matters a lot, so he's going to let that go. Now there's going to be some scrying here with Viscerous here, sacrificing... First Eternal Witness, now Renegade Rallier. The worry here is that you can only scry so deep because if you sack everything to Viscerous here, Sleds might go, okay, now counter my damnation. That would be awesome. Yeah, so you can see he's just kind of, he's saying, all right, this is enough. Yeah. Tar Pit. Down to four. All right, Kazu. Draw a card. He wants to start by sacrificing Horizon Canopy. It's not a bad place to start. Draw a card. Collected Company. Still live. <laughs> <laughs> he sure is. Starting with Collected Company. Top six. No quit in either one of these players looking to both make top eight. Yeah. Sin Collector. It's been nice that we've had game three has been the real grind. Yeah. First two games, not so much. Sin Collector and Offenza. All right. Sin Collector trigger on the stack. Sled's going to go down to at least seven. Assume he's got some lands in there to fetch. He wants a basic swamp, I would think. He's going to get a watery grave. 
Those two points can matter. Only got one swamp in the deck. Well, I'll take that back. He's down to five. Terminate. Yep. In the 1 PM well, two Snapcaster Mages. That's Aaron tough to look at. Now. Yep. I mean, that's the that, now lethal lethal threatened right now. All right, I suppose no. There's no bolt in the graveyard and only the tar pit. So. The only question is if there are two creeping tar pits, and I think that there are. Yeah, I think the to the bottom edge of the screen, the middle land there. Yeah, or the I, actually, top, I actually think it's the, the, the yeah the top of that mm -hmm. row. I believe is the second tar pit. Island, I think watery grave, and then creeping tar pit. So pass the turn back. Now it is tough to say, I'm going to fire up both tar pits. My shields are pretty far down. The thing is, you would have seen Negri if he had another big follow up. He would just would have gone for it. Yeah, because your shields were down. Well, this this is kind of answering this question right now. Yeah, I mean, you can hold back on the Cryptic for one turn, but I think this is just too attractive of an attack. Yeah, that's going to do it. <laughs> Richie Sled's going to win this match over Kazu Negri. Two games to one. Grixis Control going to take care of Obs on Company for the Grixis Control player. He got not one, but two Ancestral Visions off, and those certainly helped for him winning the game. Listen, for all you Control fans out there complaining about the state of Blue Control of Modern, we just had someone suspend a bunch of copies of Ancestral Vision, trade one for one, Snapcaster Cryptic a bunch of times, and eventually win with the leftover lands. There you go. You had it. Modern.